I get asked a lot if it's time to update to Windows 11, and I'm not honest with my answer. I say that I still prefer Windows 10 because it's more proven and stable. But the real reason is that Windows 11 scares me. It's something new, and I don't want to have to think anymore to adapt to its UI and quirks. I do have Win 11 on my laptop, and I hate that it doesn't have the new folder option on right click. Malit lang na bagay pero nakakainis. I think I'm reasonably comfortable with technology, but I can't even switch to a new version of the same program which I've been using for years. Adapting to tech is hard, especially as you get older. Example, and then open the computer said, Hello, but sig makaguba ko, dada sig uh-huh. uh-huh. I'll say, uh, but, but, but our, one of the mentors said, na, No, don't be afraid because even my daughter, who is two or three years old, would not be afraid to open the computer. That was Isabel, a senior who, in her words, was afraid she would break a computer just by turning it on. If you're listening to Tech Show But Friendly, then you're probably tech fluent, and that's a language we take for granted. But a lot of people don't speak that language. Probably because my interest wasn't um, like, like hindi talaga na ko yung interest ko. Mm. I refused and my mind was closed. Kung baga, bakit ba ako mag, mag ano diyan na baka sa uh. bandang huli, baka malulung ako or maaddicted ako. Yun yun. <laughs> I, I was reluctant actually to, to learn and to know how to use the computer and even the cell phone. If you've ever had to do tech support for your relatives or friends, especially if they're older, you know it can be a frustrating experience. Concepts which we take for granted, right-clicking, double-click, folders, etc., they don't come naturally to them. And they don't enjoy being at their computer or phone. They find it to be a scary, stressful experience. There's an innovative program though at Silliman University which hopes to change all of that, whose goal is to make oldies into techies. The donor is actually a retiree and a senior citizen. He thought of uh, giving back to this cohort of um, lifelong learners. That's Dr. Dave from Silliman University who is running the program. Is the donor himself uh, medio techie? Like he's also in the computer, so he wanted I, other seniors? No, he's not. He, ah, he's he not. is not actually. He's mm. not actually. He even uh, asked his uh, <laughs> children and, and grandchildren to, you know, to operate his computer. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh, but um, because he was inspired, he has his own account right now. He's actually 80 years old plus. Oh, wow. Uh, medyo, <laughs> oh, may edad na. Pero in fairness, oh, ah, may oh. edad na. Pero active oh. pa rin. This is a free three-month course which meets every Saturday, 8 to 12 noon. We start at 8 o'clock, then at 10, 10 o'clock, we will, ha- we will ah. have a break. Oh. Then mga 30 minutes break, for socializing, then nag-uusap-usap, kwentuhan, updating. Then after that, go back to the class. Kasi, know, very interesting ang mga topics. And they talk in details, tsaka in layman's term. Mm-hmm. Talagang maintindihan mo talaga and step by step then yung pag, pagturo. All the teachers are IT professionals, so initially they thought imparting basic knowledge would be easy. But while it's important for the teachers to be knowledgeable, the most important teaching skill needed was patience. Kala namin dahil IT kami, ganun lang kadali magtuturo ng mga <laughs> <laughs> senior citizens. But, uh, you know, expectations versus reality, yeah. Uh-huh. It's, yeah. it's really it's malayo. Totally <laughs> mal- yeah. malayo. So, uh-huh. the, the changes perhaps is on is on our strategy. Um, a lot of us, the, the trainers and the facilitators, learn some pedagogy, mm. learn um, Specifically some for track, that age oh, group. Yeah, oh. For that kind of uh, age group. We became more, shall we say, resilient when it comes to diversity <laughs> of diversity of the learners. Uh, medyo na flex yung patience namin. <laughs> I, I can imagine. <laughs> and the students really appreciated that. They are friendly, mm-hmm. very considerate mm-hmm. uh, persons. Okay, all the teachers uh, uh, giving uh, different uh, topics are all friendly. That is why I am encouraged to continue. I don't. I didn't have even uh, one day absent in my class. <laughs> Perfect attendance, huh? <laughs> eh? Yeah, yeah. No, Maybe no cuts. 
and on the teachers. Yes, they were very understanding. They were very dedicated. They were very supportive. And the patience of them, oh, their patience was unlimited. Even basic tech can be overwhelming for some seniors. Alam mo yun, yung may biglang lalabas. Yung, <laughs> yung wala lang, tatayo lang, tapos lalabas. Oo, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. kasi, kasi kailangan. Mm, um, ah, okay, okay. Parang, parang oh. feeling nila, masupukate daw sila. So, oh, oh. mag-breath air. Di mo naman sabihin, hindi pwede. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Stay in your seat. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. And sometimes, the more you try to teach, the less is learned. Di mo pwedeng... Di oh, mo pagsabihan. Pwedeng, oh. Pagsabihan na... <laughs> Ah, uh, di mo pwedeng pagsigawan kasi nga may may hearing problem, <laughs> di ba? Oo, so hearing problem, so kailangan mong lakasan yung boses. Oh. Ay, ma-hurt pala 'yan. Hindi <laughs> mo pwedeng sabihin, "Ma'am, ganito kasi <laughs> dapat." <laughs> Oo, na experience ko pinagsabihan ako. Wag wag kang ganun, sir. Hindi ako bingi. Wag kang sisigaw. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman ako bungol. <laughs> In many ways, learning about tech, at least for seniors, is the opposite of what the tech world is. Where tech is obsessed with being fast, learning about tech should be done slowly. Where tech likes to present you with multiple paths or options, learning about tech means just taking one path for now. Nagkaroon kami ng checklist at nagkaroon na kami ng sistema. So, ang, ang ibig kong sabihin is uh, parang alam na namin, napuprofile na namin yung mga hmm. challenges, especially during the first day. Uh, for example, itong mga ay nakakatakot, yung mga ganon. Meron talaga, actually, talaga yung parang tatawag pa ng staff para mag-on. Mm-hmm. Baka daw masira. Uh-huh. Yung mga ganon. Or uh, pag hindi na siya makasabay sa instruction, hindi na yan i-emake. Baka uh-huh. daw masisira. Pa- yung mga, nakaganon, oh, na oh, uh-huh. nakaganon na lang. So, meron na kami first day kasi walang hindi pa kami magsa-start. Mm-hmm. Yung first day namin more on getting to know, making them comfortable, na papakita namin na kahit anong gagawin ko sa screen, walang mangyayari. <laughs> hindi yan masisira. <laughs> oh, hindi yan masisira. Yung mga ganun. So, tinuturuan muna namin sila ng mga first, yung mga first, parang first aid kit <laughs> sa computer. O, pag ganito, mangyayari, oh, relax. Oh, oh, hindi, don't panic. Hindi kailan- oh, don't panic. Hindi <laughs> kailangan, ano, baka yung mga high blood nyo, yung mga ganun. There are a lot of challenges for the senior learning about tech trying it out for the first time and they may be scared but that doesn't stop them what's the dropout rate like so you start around with 24 to 30 students at the There's end of the no three drop months out. ah talagang uh, kompleto lahat talagang kompleto lahat uh, some are i think uh, very new in uh, this uh, computer technology but uh, they are very considerate in giving instructions that is why I am not hesitant to join because of our friendly atmosphere in this uh, uh, Teleman University. No dropouts is amazing and that's a sign that while the seniors are scared, they are not intimidated. They love going to this class. Kami, professor, dapat ma-ignite namin yung motivation nila. Trainer, ma-ignite yung motivation. Yun ang actually nakikita namin challenging. Paano namin sila Nung, nung first batch, paano namin sila motivate to continue? Kasi takot na takot kami na baka wala nang papasok. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wala nang papasok. Pero it was really totally different from what we expected. So they are always on time. At 7 <laughs> o'clock, 8 o'clock yung 8 o'clock. Alam mo, maaga silang nagising kasi. 3, oh. 3 a.m., 4 a.m., oh. gising na sila. So oh. <laughs> dati meron kami mga testimony from their, from their children. Alam mo, sir, yung mama ko, ano... Uh, 6 o'clock niyan, lalabas ng, <laughs> lalabas ng room. Pero nung nag-class, naku, 3 a.m. Ano na, ang ingay na yung mga, <laughs> ano niya, mga notebook niya. <laughs> excited na excited pumasok. <laughs> so, excited na pumasok. There was a time nga, kahit bagyo, naku, pumasok. <laughs> kahit may bagyo, pumapasok. Who wouldn't want students like that? And if the subject is hard for these students, that just means they tackle it together. Ang strategy namin, kasi nag-determine na kami, siguro mga third, fourth session. O sino yung magaling, parang medyo uh-huh. advanced or a little yeah. tiki, pinipair na namin, pinapartner na namin. Mm-hmm. So, sasabihin na namin, o oh, ikaw sir ha, uh, assignment mo, kung anong alam mo, dapat matatransfer mo sa kanya. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> 
Ah, that's good. Parang at, ano, oo. Oh. Alam mo, excited sila pag ganoon. Oo. Oh. Merong mga motivation. Ay, sana next time ako na naman yung magtuturo sa Ma- sa, ano, kaib- oh, oh. <laughs> o, sa kaibigan ko rather than siya yung tinuturuan. Kasi oh, oh. parang meron kaming recognition. Mag- oh. Nag-recognize kasi kami and competitive kasi sila eh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From the descriptions of the seniors, it really sounds like they went back to school. And as often happens in school, you start with a class full of strangers, you get to know your classmates, and you end up with a class full of friends. After the program, uh, we still meet. Kung minsan nga nagda dine in kami, kung mm-hmm. minsan nagla lunch out, and then we have this very very senior talaga na na ano na classmates mag. Uh, uh, he would invite us in their house. Tapos yun, nagsisharing lang kung what happened after the after the the program. Tech, even if it feels scary at first, can bring people together. Of course, not all seniors need a classroom setting to learn tech. Some start from a similar non-techy background and really get into a particular video game. An example is a 93-year-old former taxi driver from Japan who streams playing racing games and apparently he's very good. Closer to home, we have Lola Gaming, a 74-year-old who learned to play Mobile Legends basically on a dare during the pandemic. She asked one of her grandsons what the game was all about and he set up the game for her but also started streaming her playing. She's become a fixture of the local ML scene and when she counsels players not to trash talk and to attend the school first, you know that she sees both worlds. The point of view of someone who's really into a game, but also the point of view of an elder who knows that while the game is important, there are other important things also outside of the game. Now, I did interview Lola Gaming for this episode, but right before the interview, the internet in my home went down. Thanks, Converge. So I did the interview over my phone so I could use the mobile data. I set the phone to record both audio and video, Pero yung record lang yung video, walang audio. And it's a shame that the audio was not recorded as Lola Gaming was a very gracious guest. Although the botched interview does highlight that tech problems and techno stress can happen to anyone. Regardless of age, regardless if you're comfortable with tech or not. The more you learn, the more you appreciate just how fragile the technology we rely on to bring our videos and messages, our games and our notifications how easily that all falls apart. After doing the interviews for this episode, I was left with the overwhelming impression that this is a really good program going on at Siliman. The teachers are patient and knowledgeable. The students are enthusiastic and determined. So all the people uh, surround me, uh, give me, uh, encourage me to learn. And as they are learning practical things about technology, they are also exercising their social skills. Yung camaraderie na na-establish nila na yung parang meron na daw pinagkaabalahan yung parent nila at uh, yun nga, yung parang excited at <laughs> na, na, nag-expand yung nag-expand yung socialization nila parang nagkaroon sila ng another venue mm. of uh, mingling with other people. Basically, if you came up with a wish list for what you would want your lolo or lola to be doing, this program covers that list. Hats off to everyone involved, and I hope the teachers never run out of patience. Ay, talagang uulit-ulitin mo yan. <laughs> dalawang session yan. <laughs> dalawang dalawang session para, oh, shutdown, dalawang, para sa window shutdown? Para lang yung oh. open, oh. Open, the des- oh, open the computer, oh. and then this is the desktop, <laughs> then going to the shutdown. Dalawang oh. session talaga yan. This is Tech Show But Friendly, Hardware Sugar's podcast, and I'm your host, Anton. We were produced by Nana Nadal. Next week, March 8, our next episode involves me being questioned by the police for more than an hour. Ano ginawa ko to merit interrogation? Find out next episode. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site. 
www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.